love light and blessing shamanic awake priestess here and welcome to today's video uh today's topic is going to be um basically um a spirit chat video um i have not been on youtube on my main channel um posted any videos since march okay so it's been basically a little bit over two months since i have posted a video um and i'm gonna be making a part two to that video um, as promised, it was a topic that was voted by the members, um, but I have been intuitively drawn to make this video. I made a previous video, but decided to not post that one and instead try to do this one. So this is take two of the same topic. Um, but before I get to the main subject of the video, I want to make a couple of quick announcements. OK, so first announcement is um memberships okay if you want to become a member so a lot of people um want to know about atrs african traditional religious practices which i practice so i do work with orishas so um i do and i have grown up around santeria so if interested in orisha or origin stories and things like that so the legumes and things like that the patakis the dans things like that um, i do have a videos on that particular subject in my memberships, I also have cardomancies because I have talked many times about how I read playing cards. I have a video series on um, past lives, witchy vlogs. Um, so I do talk about more of my um, personal practices. I have videos where I show people how I balance chakras and meditating with me and, you know, different things about my practice, spiritual baths. Um, pick up how readings on there, um, things like that, um, daily one card polls in there. Um, so of course, different, three different levels. So, you know, the higher tier you are, the more, um, benefits you get. We even have a monthly meetup where you'll be a part of a coven, um, and things like that. Okay. So if you're interested in that, if you're interested in that and being part of a spiritual community, please um hit the join button on my channel and it will take you to the different tiers and you see which one suits your needs and which one calls to you and you can become a member and you'll be part of our spiritual community also i am having a sale yes i am having a sale um it's a mother's day sale but it's also a mother's day slash inflation sale because i know uh, right now, things are really expensive. I notice it too when I go to the grocery store, gas, you know, things like that, you know, mortgage, rent, all the things are very high right now. So as a way to say thank you to all my loyal um, clients and also, you know, for people that have never read with me um, to encourage you to try my readings and things like that. Um, you know, read the reviews on my websites, which are made by people that have read with me and things like that. Um, customer reviews and everything uh, basically um, you know I'm having a limited time only sale um, and this is going to be a Mother's Day slash inflation sale so that's going on right now on my website the link to my website is going to be on the description box of this video so shamanic priestess.com you can get um, basic um, different types at different um, times anywhere from a four to a 60 minute tarot reading with me psychic readings also specialized readings with me as well spirit court readings past life readings spirit checkups spiritual counseling readings all those types of different types of readings as well all of those things are available on my website i also so all those services are on sale the only ones that are not on sale will be my ritual slash pearl work that's regular price and my shamanic healings as well those are regular price but also available through my website shamanic so those are the two quick little announcements I wanted to make. Now to the main point of this video, guys. Okay, so today's spirit chat is going to be about the spirituality for sale. Okay, and that's kind of like a topic that's controversial. Okay, and some people be like, but shamanic our priestess, uh, you are like the last person to be talking about this subject. But I'm not though. Um, because there's a difference between um, someone who has a calling, someone who has an actual calling, okay? And there are people who have a calling, not just me, but other people outside of myself who have a genuine calling. Um, for example, I can only talk about myself, right? Because this video, I'm making the video. But I know other people who have a calling as well. 
Um, and so I'm going to put myself for an example. A lot of people, when I'm reading for them, will be very surprised when I'll say things like, they're like, oh, talking to you is like talking to a therapist. And this is like a whole therapy session or whatever. And I'll say things like, yes, you know, I have a degree in therapy. Oh, um, I have a background in nursing. Oh, and like, yes, I have actual careers that I've done prior to being a full time reader. You know, this is because the spirits called me to do this. Um, but yes, I have actual careers that I've done and other jobs that I've done on a full time basis. And a lot of people will be surprised by that because this is a calling for me. So when the spirits called me to do this, which I was very resistant to do, I actually had to sit down with the spirits like I would talk to a regular human being. Um, because I see them in that way and that's the kind of relationship I have with them and said you know this is what it would take for me to be able to do this on a full-time basis like you're asking me to do um, spirituality and my culture and in my practice is very logical um, I do not do these really big to do uh, elaborate rituals um, anyone who's uh, mentored with me I'm a very roots type of person um, a lot of people will be like oh I love this simple bath that you're giving me but there's power in the things that I do because at the end of the day it's not about how elaborate a ritual is it's about getting the results of what you're wanting to do um, and what you're wanting the outcome to be so I'm very blunt about what it is that, I, that I'm needing you know and and I have that type of relationship with my spirits because their family so when they were calling me into this path you know I was very transparent like these are the things that you know I would need so and that's the type of relationship I have sustained with them they are an extended form if you will of my family you know I treat them like my family they are an extension of that I love them they are a part of my everyday life okay so yes while I do charge for spell work and rituals and readings is because this is my job like any any other job that anybody would have like um anyone who would do nails and or hair or anything of that nature right um but outside of just that not just because it's a job if you will but because it's a calling right so i have to pay bills like in everyday life there's a difference between that and what some people do okay which is actually selling your spirituality and so what do i mean by that when you start to compromise your own morals okay when you start to go against your ethics and not the ethics that i always see the same topics on the channels about you know oh i don't do third party readings i don't fortune tell and i've done many videos about that those are not the ethics i'm going to talk to you about this because i've been there done that bought the t-shirt i don't see nothing wrong with those things i'm an old-fashioned fortune teller you know we all know that i i don't have no problems with that okay i'm old-fashioned like if i'm gonna pick up tarot that's what i'm using it for i'm telling your future you know whatever okay and then i have readings that i channel this that are not fortune telling readings and things like that that are more channel and mediumship and all that and that's fine but the majority of my readings are to tell the future let's keep it real on there okay that's what people are looking for okay or to communicate with a spirit or whatever so that's it is what it is so i'm not even talking about those ethics because i again i don't care about reading other people's minds thoughts whatever whatever that's part of what i do i don't have issues with that so that's we're not even talking about that when i talk about ethics okay when i'm talking about spirituality for sale what i mean is when you are practicing a close tradition there's certain codes of ethics that goes with that when you're practicing something that is lineage based you know damn well that if your great grandmother taught you a spell and this or, or a bath or and, and rituals and whatever if you know that your ancestors right especially if we're talking about spirituality of the diaspora and what your ancestors went through 
Um, especially when I'm talking about spiritual beliefs that in, our enslaved ancestors, okay, our Madama spirits, okay, had to go through in order to bring, in order to bring these traditions into the the new world, okay, in order to bring these traditions into the new world, right? A lot of them were literally killed for their beliefs, okay, whipped and chained and treated really badly, right? They had to do a lot in order to continue these religious practices in secret, right? They did a lot in order to keep these traditions as intact as possible. Our ancestors paid the price for that. Do you think they're okay with you then going and going on the YouTubes and then just posting a bunch of spells for the world to see if you claim that you practice a close tradition? How magical is that if your great grandmother kept this like secret recipe for like spells and now you're just showing everybody the spell? Like, how do you think your great grandmother feels about that? That for generations and generations and generations and generations, she kept this uh, spell like a secret and now you're just giving it to everybody. Like, that's kind of weird. I have given classes, yes. But I have given classes with the permissions of my spirits and only in closed groups and only to those people that have invested. You know why people charge to mentor people? Do you know why they do that? Because first of all, not everybody's willing to pay to learn stuff. So what does that do? That makes the groups of people smaller, right? When someone's willing to invest in something it's because they know what they're getting is valuable, okay? Because a closed tradition is, that's what it is, is a closed tradition. It's something that you're only supposed to teach to certain people. So when I do classes, yes, I make videos and stuff like that. But that's only something that I share within a small group of people. People that are willing, and even in the classes, anybody who study with me, there are certain readings that I do prior for you to becoming a student of mine. I have to make sure that you have certain spirits within your spirit court in order to take my classes. If I was only about making money, I would have my classes open to everybody. But I don't do that. I actually dox my students, okay? I actually make sure, I don't know if dox is the right word, but I actually make, sh vet, vet would be a better word. I actually vet my students. I actually make sure that they have, if we're going to, like for instance, my Huda class, if you're going to do that class, then you have to have certain spirits of ATR religions to be in that class, okay? If you're going to do the Madama class, you would have had to have a Madama spirit that wants to work with you. What is the point of you taking a class if you don't have that? You know, so there's certain things that I would require from someone to take mentorship classes with me, if that makes sense, you know, um, and, and that's the way it's supposed to be. But a lot of people like, oh, a lot of people just do like you just study on your own. I don't want to do it like that because, see, it's beyond. Yes, you're going to pay me for my knowledge. And yes, I'm going to charge because, again, there is going to be a smaller set of people that are willing to pay for it anyways. Right. Which makes it a closed group. That's why I have membership because it's more like a community. Right. Because now we have this. It's a good resource. If you have online connections to people in different parts of the world. Yes. And you can have that coven. But see, when you're on this type of platform where anybody can just watch things and it's open to a bigger platform. You have to understand that everybody's seeing your stuff. This is why I've said, and I, and if you watch my channel, and I've say, I've stayed true to that. I said I would not do that. I still have not done that. I have showed you guys temporary altars on my channel, but you have never seen my spirit room. Like you've seen um, jars, you've seen candles, you know. Oh, I, this is the can, different kind of candles that I have and stuff like that. But you guys have never seen my actual altars to this day. Why? Because my spirits won't allow that. Because that is such a sacred practice. Because even though my services are for sale, my spirits are not for sale. Again, my spirits are not for sale. My services are for sale. But my spirituality... And my spirits, they're not for sale. That's my code of ethics. I do not sell my spirits. And that's something you have to understand. You can sell your services. You can sell your spells. But do not sell your spirits. When you start to 
show things that you're not really supposed to show in a closed tradition, you are selling your spirits. Because the old timers know that there are certain sacred spaces that a camera is not allowed to go. You have people recording rituals that are unheard of that you have access to now on YouTube. Initiations that you're never supposed to have ever had on video. And people watch these videos and then they get possessed by spirits. You have people selling items that you're not supposed to have of closed traditions. And then they have statues and images and, and items and things that people purposely buy and sell to people because it, it you know spirituality is marketable now it's it's a trend and people are buying things with trickster spirits in it it became to a point where i had to include on how to open the mouth of a statue to, in order to get the correct spirit into housed into a physical item because people were buying statues that were supposed to be blessed by initiated people and they were actually having these people put trickster spirits in it where people were actually having spirits that were literally ruining people's lives they were buying from people at large sums of money and having spirits ruin their lives okay some people is because they don't really know how to put the spirits in there and other people were doing that purposefully because their spirits are for sale like there are actual people that will literally steer you the wrong way so you could come back to them for more money that's when you start to sell your morals and your spirits when you literally go out of your way to ruin people's lives for a profit i'm gonna literally hex this client i'm gonna literally give them false information so they can keep coming back to me but i'm not really improving their lives and that's wrong you are literally ruining people's lives on purpose you are literally selling your spirits you are literally invading your spirits oh i'm going to make a video about me giving my spirit an offering and it's all like sometimes you know i have allowed my members to be part of a ritual or something like that in members only when that spirit has allowed me there are many spirits because i serve a lot of spirits and they will tell you that i'm like hey i just had a feast day for a goon he wanted that to be private i'm going to respect that because at the end of the day what my spirits say goes because my spirits are not for sale and yes i may not have a hundred thousand one million subscribers one million this a hundred million views my spirits i live very comfortably okay i live very well they provided for me from the day they've called me into this path because why because the people that work with me are willing to invest in me it's not even about the followers your money is not going to be in the amount of people that follow you on social media your money is going to be on your clients that invest in you that continue to seek your services that's where it is because how do you think root workers and people they didn't make the money on social media they made their money from word of mouth and recommendation that's how i make money yes i have people that find me on youtube and whatever and yes they seek my services but i also have a lot of my clients are from other people like hey i read what this person did da, 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 and i get a lot of that type of situation as well your work will speak for itself it is not necessary for you to literally sell your soul or sell your spirits okay if your spirits are saying hey i don't want to be on video don't be recording that you know there is something to be said about respecting the sacred there's something to be said about having certain things be secret there's certain things to be said about respecting spirituality everything cannot always be for sale you know what i mean you know there's there's things that are just not for sale guys and i just you know while i was gone for these last two months like you know i, I just hear all these stories oh this person did this and it's like i'm always very careful what i share on here too and that's why i just do a lot of more stuff on membership because i notice when people share things on social media you have anybody listening to a video they'll take little bits and pieces of things they'll rebrand it and resell it okay you have a lot of people that are not initiated into anything never grew up in any traditions that are literally making money on etsy shops and this website and that website 
they don't know anything that they're doing they've never been trained in anything they're just selling spells at ridiculous prices okay they they are messing up people's lives getting horrible results you know i've had clients buy candles from crazy shops and you know channels they're watching or whatever and they're like hey do you know this and this i do i i have to make that disclaimer i do not follow any spiritualists on social media guys i am very busy as you can see i haven't made a video in two months i literally work full-time doing readings and spell work i do not watch videos and that's not disrespecting anybody but i really don't follow spiritualists i do follow like some ch tarot channels sometimes and things like that i want to burn day decks and stuff like that because that's kind of how i got into youtube was actually i found tarot channels first or whatever i wasn't even aware that there was like a spiritualist channels or whatever because i'm kind of a mixture of a spiritualist channel and a tarot channel i don't know i'm not my own thing here but basically yeah i don't really follow spiritualist people i don't i don't know anything about that you know um i kind of just stick to my own little corner my own little tiny channel my own little tiny following that type of thing and i'm okay with the subscriber amounts that i have and the viewerships that i have because i'm not willing to sell my spirits for that that's something me and the spirits sat and talked about what people do to get huge followings i'm not going to do i'm not going to compromise my morals i'm not going to make things aesthetically pleasing i'm not going to have like all this fancy equipment i'm not going to do none of that because to me that's not that doesn't bring spiritual joy to me i'm a very roots and bones very traditionalist type of person i'm always going to be that way spirituality to me is just i like the traditional stuff i'm 44 years old you can't teach me new tricks okay my stuff is very simple but it's effective and it works you know and that's just the way it is i feel like i don't need to buy these really fancy candles you know i have people buying them and then they come to me like oh my god i bought this candle from somebody and i lit it up and now my life is messed up and then i have to do exorcisms on people and i have to do rituals to cleanse their space because you know people are getting sucked into the razzle dazzle the bling bling the you know this person has a beautiful uh picture of crystals and all this you know outlined and that's not real hoodoo anyways and voodoo is nothing to do with crystals and blingy bling stuff you know voodoo is very roots and bones and very shamanic and very traditional they weren't doing all of that okay they weren't glittering stuff up they wasn't doing all this stuff that you see on social media like all of that is bs guys it's not real like just because somebody says they practice something don't mean they're doing that they're making a lot of things up like even your local magic shops and botanicas that like they're not what they were in the 90s and 2000s like a lot of the stuff I, I have to sit here and like do classes and be like girl that ain't real this ain't real you know low stones they have green colors and dyed this color and that is not a real low stone anymore because you took kind of the the magical properties of it and you made it something else you know what i mean it's not even magnetized no more you know so it's just a lot of traditions are getting lost a lot of things are getting watered down anybody thinks they could do whatever they want and there's just no order to things you know it's just like spiritualities you know morals everything is for sale there is a difference between having a genuine calling and selling your services and then there's another difference where you just kind of exploiting things and having everything for sale and it's just an oversaturation a lot of people feel that way about tarot people that make decks and stuff like some people are like oh i like the variety and to me honestly i don't even look at walkthroughs for a while because i and there's no offense to anybody who makes them i just can't look at another walkthrough for now i sorry to say i don't want to see that like i think i've seen enough tarot decks for right now you know what i mean i kind of need i sometimes have to take a break from that because i feel like sometimes people are just making decks to make decks i'm sorry i feel like i'm, I'm good <laughs> so i feel that way about certain things too i just feel like some people are just doing it for the money and don't really have a calling and there's there is a difference there is a difference and when you don't have a calling you are ruining people's lives so you know and i just feel bad for the people that buy those services so you know it's it's a turn off sometimes so i when i was gone in march i was kind of off social media it's a turn off you know because you know it's been two months of just a lot of people coming to me i'm not complaining but these people that they're buying services from are literally hexing them and hurting them and 
you know i've been doing a lot of rituals these last two months because there are people scamming i'm talking about like inboxing people threatening people telling them they're gonna die if they don't do that and i'm just like it's getting worse because the market's getting so saturating and it's not even getting saturated by like good people and it's crazy it's like wolves in sheep's clothing because some of them look like marginalized people it's like our own marginalized people are starting to infiltrate a, tr a trend and that's starting to get scary you know so just you know be careful buyers beware you know um that's why i try to teach my students like make your own stuff because it's getting that serious it's getting that serious okay even purchasing a candle is getting dangerous out here so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video um just be careful you know like i said it's one thing to sell your services or, or your goods if it's by someone who actually knows what they're doing but if you're someone like oh you know you're getting suckered into the whole oh this is fun bling bling i'm gonna get rich you know whatever whatever just know like there's a consequence you know if you're really not in this life like you have no business selling stuff and if you're someone who's purchasing stuff make sure you're vetting who you're buying stuff from because you can actually uh, like bring negative energy into your home sometimes it's better for you to kind of learn how to make your stuff or really prey on it and make sure that like you're being really called to buy that and you're not getting seduced by how nice something looks because it can bring negative energy into your home okay anyways much love light and blessings let me know in the comment section if you notice the oversaturation too if you've ever been a victim of getting scammed you don't have to say the name of the website because i don't want to trash anybody but i've just been hearing a lot of scammy stories i mean i've had people like people give them readings and people call death into their life and threaten their life i mean it's crazy out here um i saw somebody charging for a spell like five thousand dollars i was like girl what kind of candle you got is it a levitating candle is it a candle made out of 24 karat gold i mean can you tell me what kind of ritual you're doing because that's crazy okay i would not pay that i don't care who you are are you houdini like who are you anyways much love and light guys thank you so much for watching this video i'll be back soon with a part two to why the veil is thinning and what can we do and all that good stuff and some more content sorry i was gone for so long but there was a lot going on so but i am back i am good to go i just i've been working i've been working reading 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 readings rituals rituals things picking up spirits went to sleep for two weeks and had some health things which i don't want to talk about right now but but i'm okay now guys much love and light bye